sent them to punish me. Remember that crazy old woman who looked after the kids? Gran? Sure I remember. Found her in the Crone's village, transformed into a monster. Any idea how that happened? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones totted in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged him to spare Gran. Bruess piped up first. Naughty boy! Oh, naughty! Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes! Then the Wispess says, Run, boy! Run! Before your legs rot off! They all laughed, and I legged it! There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher.
Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crows probably cursed your mother. Took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. The eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Wengerberg, this cannot be the one. Uh, all right. I'll look at the others. Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna, and I can't think of any link between her and Bird Feathers. That might seem obvious, but what if it's a ruse and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Doubtful. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. You believe this to be the doll? Might very well be, but I can't be sure. Should look at the others. human ear attached to this one. Belong to one of the peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. Human ear attached to this one. Belong to one of the peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. Not just any flower. You believe... I'm sure it is. Taking it. Quick, outside! Mom, 
You're back. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy. I'm dying. She's not well. Raven. Doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. Well, what's she talking about, Witcher? Mm. The crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. What? What does that mean? She's dying. It's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother. Tammy. Do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please, remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. None of this was your doing. I know. Which makes it no easier to bear. The pain will pass in time. I'd like to believe that. I would. You may have a moment with her. Then we must bury her. Roach. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Himself? Or did you boys help him? Fuck you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. 
and I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. What do you say we flog some of his shade? You grab him by the boat and bang the shots. Don't give a crying book. This ain't no toothpaste. Bray down to a shapely arm. Plowing hangover. Like you got soused last night too. The last round of the villagers that let you go. Oh, so you you know, some and this ain't no dangerous old wench. Young and bad you so down to the shady arse. If a woman yeah. won't forever get tossed at the tavern. Ooh. What was that about? Where's your gold? You can tell us willingly, or... No, please, we've none left. Sir, help us. Stay out of this. Leave them alone. What's it to you? Won't stand by and watch you rob and murder them. Plain refuse to. Got a sensitive one. Look away, woman. Still here. Oi, get him! Let's go!
smile as outish. Googly eyes. Got a case of the bloke. Oh. And whosoever contributes coin to the cause, his sin shall be forgiven. Greetings. Are you here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia. Yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Hello. Is it not uncomfortable? One cannot make an omelette. Burnt another at the stake. It's dreadful. <laughs> Shit. Interesting. Arms for the Come on! Running fire. The dungeon. Father That's where you are! Ah! The eternal fire oh. protects us. But the witch is sure comes in hand. So fast, Roach. Ah, humans. Ah. humans. Ah. Nelf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Varatra said. And that this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia, the best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go! Why do you like a miller's song? Caswex. Here. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. If that's what the lady wishes, just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard! You all right? Yes.
Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. All right. What's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset, it slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. Elvin blood, eh? Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shite you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Oh, we will seem to worry ourselves. the coin and go. If you think you can buy us like some cheap ore... Shut up, Lucas. Have you any idea what we can buy with this? <clears throat> we'll take your coin as war reparations for Nilfgaardian crimes. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. And you wonder why the locals hate Nilfgaard? I thought you were different from other Nordlings. That you understand us, our sense of justice. I see I was wrong. You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt, and good luck on the path. Snake 
What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zaracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Fine, tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Carol, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Something unusual. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What? He never given me nothing but floppy diddly. Don't know. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. <laughs> oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without a shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the ploughing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of... to pay off the debt. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it. Got to buy it. You can handle this. Sure. Ah, all right. Thanks. Sick. Sick of it all. What village are you from? Ooh. Willows. It's into my area two days road from the zoo. <laughs> Like a new race teach, you're a bigger than me. I'm done with the sewers. Ah, here crawls a witcher. Look! Whoa, -ho! what a killer. Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the
the swords you use for stage battles. My, whatever do you need that for? I don't know. The dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Sorcerers, uh, they're uh, 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 <laughs> non human, are you? Look for Ooh. your kind beyond uh. the walls. Ah! Oh. No. Yes, Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Huh. This can actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromas, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But no time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Uh, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the... Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, uh, uh, you're better than I thought. Go on, Dandelion! I mean, Crimson The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandit you up. Be gone, vile bandit! Or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless!
There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Why are you asking me? Well, the lovely lady seems to be having a hard time deciding. And Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theatre decor. But that he'd let us know just as soon as we arrived. Now we're here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gabriel, you've known him longer. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret is a form of theatre. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is, at last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. You'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him.